Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about redox reactions, how to balance them in acidic and basic solution, with half reaction method. Let's start with an acidic solution. In this case we have dichromide plus bromide giving chromium plus bromine. First we have to find the oxidation number. Oxygen always have oxidation number minus 2 except for cases hydrogen peroxide and oxygen fluoride. In this case is minus 1, in this case is plus 2. In all other cases is minus 2. So in this case is minus 2. How we are going to find the oxidation number of chromium here? Think like this. Chromium is a number. Multiplied by 2, because we have 2 chromium, plus oxygen, which has an oxidation number minus 2, multiplied by 7 oxygens equal to the charge of the anion, in this case, minus 2. So, this number here is plus 6. Now, what we have? Chromium from plus 6 goes to chromium plus 3. We have reduction. And bromide from minus 1 is going to bromide 0. We have oxidation. Now, let's write the two half reactions. Now we have to balance the main atoms, except for oxygens and hydrogens. All others are considered main atoms. In this case, we need a 2 here and a 2 here. Now let's balance the oxygens. As we see from the first half reactions, we need 7 oxygens on the right side. So we are going to add 7 molecules of water. And on the other side, on the left side, we are going to add number of hydrogen plus ions to balance the hydrogens. In the second half reactions, it's already balanced. Let's move now to the charges. Here we have plus 14 minus 2 equal to plus 12. Here we have 2 multiplied by plus 3 plus 6, which means that on the left side we need 6 electrons. Why we add here? Because electrons are negatively charged. So it's going to give us plus 12 plus 6 electrons, which means it's going to decrease the charge to plus 6, the same as on the other side. The same here, minus 2 to 0, we are going to add here 2 electrons to balance this minus 2. Now we have to balance the electrons in both half reactions. So we are going to find the smallest whole number that divides both. In this case is 6, so here is 1 and here is 3. It's going to multiply all the half reactions. Now let's rewrite both equations together. This is the final equation. We see that the 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and here 1 multiplied by 6 is 6, so we eliminate the charges. Let's move now in basic solutions. We have to find the oxidation number. For the manganese here we have a number that is plus minus 2 for oxygen multiplied by 4 oxygens equal to minus 1. So the manganese in this case is plus 7. Here sulfide is minus 2, again here is minus 2, this is plus 2 and this is 0. So manganese from plus 7 has gone to plus 2, which means it's reduced. Sulfur from minus 2 has gone to 0, which means it's oxidized. Let's write the two half reactions. Now let's balance the main atoms. We see that one manganese here, one manganese here, one sulfur here, one sulfur here. But we have one sulfide here, so we are going to add it as an anion on the left side. Now let's balance the oxygen and hydrogens if we have in the basic solution. In this case, we are missing only oxygens on the right side. In basic solution, in case you need oxygens, you are going to add the double the number of OH 
compared to the oxygens that you need. So in this case, we need four oxygens. We are going to add eight OH minus. And on the side that you have oxygens, we are going to add four molecules of water. Now let's find the charges. Here we have minus two, minus one, minus three. Here we have minus eight. So we are going to add here five electrons in order to balance minus eight. Again, electrons are negatively charged. That's why we add here to match the other side. Here we have minus two to zero. So we are going to add here two electrons. Now let's find the smallest whole number to balance the charges. So we have five and two. 10 is the smallest whole number that divides five by giving two and divides two by giving five. Let's run the calculations. Here we can make a small simplification, adding these two both together. And the final equation balanced is That's it for this video guys. If you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Peace.